Hi, my name is John Alford, and in this 10 minute video, video, I'll be talking about my interpersonal skills, my personal skills, my self development, and my knowledge. But first, I'm going to talk about my transaction from Millfield School to Leeds Business School. With Millfield School being a boarding school in the countryside, it's a lot different from this buzzing city of Leeds, and I've, I've loved the change. When I was at Mil Millfield, it's almost like living in a bubble because you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, you're in you're in a, you're in an acres of space, but it's just everyone compact and living together. Whereas in Leeds, there's so many different options and so many different people you kind of meet, and I've really enjoyed that change. At school, you're constantly getting nagged by teachers to make sure you're doing work, and if you and if you don't do it, they'll chase you up and really fish you. This is very different from university, where it's all independent work. And especially with marketing, it's a very fast-paced course, and if you and if you don't do your reading, you're gonna fall behind really quickly. I knew this is a really important skill that I'll have to do and pick up as soon as I get to the university because otherwise I will struggle and then when it comes to exams I won't know what to do. Looking back on it now, I, can, I, now, I now see that at school I got a screen a lot and there wasn't actually much learning, it was more the teachers kind of just giving you information rather than actually going, uh, going out and finding it for yourself. This is very different from Leeds Business School where, it's, where you have to do most of the work and the teachers are there just to kind of guide you. And, they won't. and what, I like, what, I, what I like most about the way it's run is that they're actually trying to get you ready for the, uh, and for the business environment because at the end of the day it's, it's a competitive world out there and no, no one's going to give you a free, a free mile there so it's the best way of learning. Firstly, interpersonal skills. Inter interpersonal skills are the life skills that we use every day to communicate with people and in groups. Um, these skills are very important for business and the every, every day. Firstly, teamwork. Teamwork is so important in marketing because most of the work you'll be doing, you'll be working in groups, and it's so important that the whole, the whole group can work together to actually get the job done. That's how everything gets done efficiently and on time. I feel that one of the reasons why I, I, I'm good, I have good teamwork skills is because I've played a number of team sports throughout my life, and I've learned so much from this. Because I, listening skills. Listening skills almost goes hand in hand with teamwork because you've got to listen to other people because everyone's got like good good points, good ideas and if you if it's just you making all the decisions and not listening to anyone else then you kind of cut yourself off. But by listening to other people that you could come up with solutions that maybe you didn't know or you could put ideas together with maybe maybe what you knew what someone else thinks and maybe that could be the best kind of outcome. Um, at school, I was head of house, so I was in charge of 60 boys from the age of 13 to 18. And if there was any problems, like fight, fight between two boys, I'd have to sit down and both, listen to the boys, and kind of come up with a solution to like sort out you know, what's been going on. And I think that's a really important skill I've learned is that you don't really understand the whole picture until you kind of like explain to like a lot of people, like you've got all the information and listening. So and um, finally, yeah, my last strength I would say is uh, problem solving. Um, in business, there's pretty rarely a time when you'll be lucky if you come across a time when you're doing a job and everything goes smoothly. So you literally got to be able to think with feet and solve, solve problems. And I think because of the experience I've had, like through rugby, like through rugby teams, or being out of house, dealing with different situations, I think I've been able to develop that. And I think. That's going to be a key thing to bring into my kind of work because I think they, the per, like you have to deal with different situations and if you can solve these problems then you're just going to be more efficient and it's just going to work a lot better. So I, I think I, have, I do have good problems. On the other hand, um, there are attributes I feel I'm not as strong in and I, what I do really need to start pressing and to making it a lot stronger. Um, and that is communicating. Being dyslexic, I do sometimes find it hard to uh, get across the message I want in the most simple way as I can. Um, but what I've started to do, and I feel really can help me kind of get over this and improve it, is take, try and take a theory, right? And then I learn it, and then I'm going to present it to my, to my friends in the most simple way as I can, and then get them to like, kind of give me feedback on what could have done differently 
for how to prove that. And also, this can actually help me. It's pretty another way I'm going to help advise me, advise from, um, because I'm learning it at the same time. And also, me when I go back to look over it, I know like I know this is how I've done it, and it's, I think it worked really well because it, will, it wouldn't help with my vision. Also, it helped me kind of take something really complicated and just kind of make it in a simple way as possible. Because when you're dealing with an audience, that's basically what you're trying to do. You're trying to market them in the most simple way. Personal skills. I'd say um, I'm a fairly popular person and with good people skills. Going to a boarding school, you this is something that you kind of you either you kind of got it straight away or you you will develop it. Because you're living with people 24/7 in a quite close environment, so it's just something you easily pick up. Um, also, what's learned me, what it taught me was um, to be sympathetic to people's needs. Because because you are in such a close area, you need to learn, you need to understand what people need space. And I think it's kind of taught me how to read people better. Um, another thing that's going to Milford was that like, it was an international school as well, so there was over 150 different like, nationalities. So you kind of you really get to see the kind of different culture, different religions, different views of people. And that's just kind of helped me develop to understand how people think and just gives me more experience in life really. Being, being confident is really important in, in business, especially in marketing, because at the end of you're dealing with people, so you kind of got to be, you got to be confident enough to like kind of sell the idea. And if you're confident, then that means they can like trust you more and they, they'll like, they'll find you more reliable. So I'd also say I'm quite a hard working, kind of an assertive person. Um, like through rugby, it kind of taught me that nothing really comes easy, and you actually kind of got to work hard to achieve like some of your goals. Um, in business, it's the same. It's the same principle. If you, you I'd also say I'm I'm reliable and try to trust every person, um, and that's really important in business. You've got to be able to trust like the people you work with. You've got to be able to depend on them. Um, I'd hope to, I'd, 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 I'd hope to think that if someone said be be here at a certain time, get this work done, that like, I, I I'd like to think that I can. Um, like One thing that I I want to work, I need to work on is my organisation skills. Um, coming from an environment where everything's literally kind of organised all, all for me and just in a set structure, to going to uni where it's quite there isn't much. All it is is a couple of hours a week where you, you're in lectures or you're in a cinema. But um, so yeah, so I, I did find it a bit hard at first to organise myself. But, um, so I need, I need to find, I need to just find a routine. So that's the first one. By doing exercises like Enterprise New, this has allowed me to see the areas in which that I I have like strengths, weaknesses, and the best ways for me to like work. For example, I've learned that I probably work best in a group, and this is probably because if I I feel more comfortable when like I'm in a smaller smaller group of people when. If I don't understand something, I can ask, we can chat about it and go into more depth. Um, this is another thing I've learned is that I probably remember stuff best when in a mind map. Um, this is probably because it's more it is more simple and it's just kind of a clear way of learning rather than something with loads and loads of writing on a piece of paper. Um, so one way I'm gonna do my revision notes is by the notes I've taken in my lectures, um, I'm going to make it to a massive mind map and then I have a whole pitch there for me and I think that's going to be a really helpful way of learning. One of, one of my strengths that I've learned is that I'm good at managing people and um, delegating jobs. Um, by having good people skills you're going to see where people have like, good, their strengths and weaknesses. Um, and I feel that I have the confidence to kind of in a group to like kind of take charge and kind of give out the jobs to make sure that everyone's kind of pulling their own way and um, it's running smoothly. And by doing this, it kind of makes life a lot easier, like when doing a job because everything runs smoothly if you got the best people doing the best things. And finally, knowledge. Before coming to university, I didn't really know much about marketing as a subject. Because I didn't do business at A level, I, didn't, I hadn't really like had much experience with it. But since being at university, I've learned some pro I've, I've learned some, some of the key areas such as marketing, or marketing or orientation, four Ps, close and open systems, uh, 
um, boxing mix and it's really kind of made my interest even more like, exciting because there's so many different ways and so many different ways towards marketing. What's also been really helpful is observing my lecturers and all the guest speakers and who are like professional marketers and have been in the business and just kind of just seeing the different ways in which they kind of present themselves and the different things they do to make them more professional and like now it's coming to the end of the first semester by by attending all the lectures it's kind of given me a really good idea of kind of what it takes to be a marketer. Overall I found this task actually really helpful because it's allowed me to reflect on my kind of journey so far this semester and it's kind of helped me kind of see what I'm good at and I need to do. Um, yeah, so it's definitely been a really useful task, um, and I hope you enjoyed.